we were, and I hope to meet you here in 2024. That'd be really cool. It's just a wish list for, for my Santa list. Let's just say we met in person and we did a show. So I have one Sony ZBE 10 with my Zoom H6 for the audio kind of pointed right at us, right? But I'm thinking, well, I want to get to that. I, I, this is just for me, technically, I want to have that look and feel where when we're talking, it's that the camera is on. We have cam one on Aaron. Cam two is both of us and cam three is on me. So as we're going through the conversation, the, the camera angles change. Not, nece not, not necessary. I mean, I've done single camera for years, right? But it's just something that I'm like, wow, I'd like to get into because when I started looking at it, you know, it, it requires more. It requires more knowledge and you have to get better at what you do. You have to be more prepared. Yeah, editing is, is, is certainly different. But, you know, I'm doing that. Um, there's this thing called the Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro. And what it is, it's a switcher. You plug that device in, plug your cameras into it, and so it's controlling all three of the cameras, four of the cameras at the same time. So it's making life easier. I, I, I played around with it. I think I'm getting to a point technically where I can use it really well, but it's just it's just things like that that I like to do because, you know, I, I want to see where I can take my, my, my technical skills doing this and try to tell the story better. Um, you, you know, one of the things I would like to do, uh, technically is get to a point where let's just say I came to, to your kitchen and watched you prepare fudge. It'd be really cool if I had the knowledge to, you know, really get the the uh you know camera and sound right to actually do like a like a true like little mini doc right there we're gonna we're gonna watch aaron make fudge which yes everybody should have aaron's fudge by the way um and and, and do that right and and so that's kind of where i'm going technically with the show it is is understanding you know that part of it to to be able to tell stories and that's, a, that's a interesting. And I'm, everybody's always intrigued about um, the best equipment. As it's hard to put a finger on it because, of course, equipment is always changing, just like the technology is always changing. And you don't want to go out and you know uh, empty the bank account on the best equipment before your skills are you know, match yep. the equipment. Yes. But at the same time, we always love that new gear. Well, uh, you were talking about with this uh, Black Magic uh, camera switcher, the taller uh, is in person uh, interviews or like we're doing remote face to face things. So, so I, I have, um, and I'll, I'll send you a link to it. And, and what I've been able to do with a little home setup here testing it is I can plug in four cameras. Mm -hmm. And I can have all the feeds recording to an external hard drive. I then take that hard drive uh, and then hook it to my computer and pour it into this program I use called uh, Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve. And all the all the the channels are there. Everything is there, and I can start working with it. And it, it's just I'm still learning some of the things that it can do. You can also live stream from it, but it, it'd be It'd be like, you know, we're sitting there in the kitchen, right? And we're looking and we have camera one focused on, you know, you mixing up the fudge, right? And have another mm -hmm. camera with you by the mixing bowl or another camera by you taking the fudge out of the oven. I don't know. But the idea is if you have those things all in place, you're not moving the, the camera around so much. And that takes out mistakes that humans make. 